Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today I will take on the difficult challenge of drawing with the eraser only. Only by using this tool I will try to draw a Batman. Let's see how it goes. In talking about challenges, I want to challenge the channel Proco of the talented artist Stan Prokopenko. So Stan, if you are watching this, I want to challenge you to make a drawing using the technique of the pointillism. That is, as you know, the technique of the Impressionists, where they drew or painted using only little dots with different colors and producing an optical mixture of the colors. For example, instead of, make, of painting with green, they will use blue and yellow in dots that are close by to produce the optical green. I would love to see how you fare with it. And friends, if you visit his uh, social media channels, please let him know that I am challenging him on this so that he sees it. And I truly recommend you to visit his channel, Proco, because his drawing tutorials are full of knowledge and they are easy to understand and very fun. I'll leave you his link right underneath so you can visit him. But before you go off to do that, let's see what we can do with the eraser. <laughs> to begin, we need to tone the paper. I will use this thick charcoal stick and then sandpaper to produce charcoal powder. There are two reasons why I chose charcoal over graphite. One is that it is darker and I want a dark background. And the second one is that it is less stable, meaning that it holds less to the paper and therefore it can be raised easier. And we apply it with a chamois. Or you can do this also with a rag. And let's give it a few more passes with more charcoal to darken it. You know, I couldn't get it darker than this. So I will go ahead and do it directly with the charcoal stick. Like so. The good thing is that uh, as the charcoal is pretty thick and it has a flat surface by now, it can be applied fairly rapidly. And we also do it in another direction to even it out and darken it further. Very good. That's better. Let's get rid of the excess powder. And then I will place the paper in a vertical manner because of the format that we will be using. I will do most of the drawing with this kneaded eraser. The reason is that it is less messy and also because you can shape it as you need. Let's begin with the forehead. The reason being that it is the widest area in light and therefore white. So I can more easily, and without a lot of danger, get a feel of the elements. <laughs> Meaning of the eraser and of the charcoal and paper and all of that. I shape a thinner tip to do this smaller line, also of the forehead. Alright. And let's do the nose. Just a line that will be reflecting. Of course, where I need more light, I press harder and I pass it uh, more times. So we can create different tones as if we were drawing with something else. Here goes the ear, the bat ears. As they are catching the light directly, they are going to be pretty light. They are going to be of a stronger white, such as in the forehead while the upper part of the head becomes a little bit darker as it turns away from the light source. And here is the other ear sticking up. Because of the angle and perspective, this one will be a little bit taller. And of course, wider. And let's do the cheek. Like so. And the upper lip, which also will be receiving the light directly. I want to make a slight correction and make the nose just a little bit shorter by adding back a touch of charcoal. Batman is appearing! 
And as I was saying, the lips also receive the light directly. Let's draw the bottom lip and the chin. We should give them a better shape, more rounded. At first I did them a bit rough. And I want to make a suggestion of where the head ends. We make the shoulder. And now I switch to another eraser in order to give an accent to the stronger lights. Since the needed eraser doesn't pull the charcoal entirely. The list of materials is in the information below the video. So with this eraser we are going over the lips, the nose, the forehead, the ears. Let's pull more light to the shoulder, the last details, and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Finer Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.